Hey folks, Jay Marino here, continuing StarCraft Mass Recall, a StarCraft Brood War remake in StarCraft 2. Almost done with Rebel Yell, there's only three maps left, so 8S, Operation Silent Scream, similar to Biting the Bullet, was on the disc for the original game, but was not included in the full release of the campaign. It's very cool to see that these were remade. So, in the beginning of the last mission, in the briefing, General Duke talked about disrupting the orbital defenses to allow a small force through. So that's what this mission is going to be. We have a small force, and we have to attack some Confederate ground forces on Tarsonis. It's actually a pretty challenging mission. It took me a couple tries in my first go-around when I played on version 5.4. So we'll see how it goes this time. I have relatively little knowledge of this map. I've monitored Confederate satellite data as you requested. Confederate forces are still mobilizing for their counter-strike. Arcturus has called for a quick roundtable before continuing with our assault. Patching you in. We stand now upon the very threshold of victory over the Confederacy. The only thing that can save them now is if we falter in our resolution. And we are not going to falter. Commander, you've demonstrated exemplary skills thus far. You will spearhead our invasion. Take your force straight to New Gettysburg and establish control over the area. Arcturus, that's not what we discussed. Even if we can capture it, how will we ever hold that area? Once the area has been secured, I'll come in to put down any attempt at counter-strike. How are you gonna do that? I'll do it, boy. You just wait. I'll do it. I'll do it, boy. Okay, destroy all Confederate starports and factories. So the reason that this mission can get tricky is because the enemy will continuously rebuild their forces and actually send attack waves at you. So our siege tanks are going to be very important. So for that reason, I'm going to take my 1-1 upgrades to armor here. And the enemy actually sends attack waves at you. So you'll just get whittled away, just constantly whittled away. And you can't reinforce your units. You can't build, I should say. New Gettysburg, Tarsonis. But when you destroy enemy command centers, you do get a small force of reinforcements. So we'll see again. I have little knowledge. I just remember when I played this the first time. Here's our small strike force landing on the planet. But there's three enemy bases. They're all separate. I think one is specializing in factories and one's starports and one's kind of a mix. Alrighty. So let's hotkey my tanks. Let's hotkey all my air units separately. Let's hotkey all my ground units separately. Something on your mind. So this is going to be group three, and then Sarah Kerrigan, you're going to be important because you have lockdown, so we're going to make you four. Okay, so let's go <clears throat> to the bottom left first, because I believe that that is the base with the tanks, and I would like to eliminate that base before they build up a, a large enough force to come and actually harass me with those tanks. Now again, this map is is tricky. It is it is weird and tricky. Okay, so Kerrigan, let's let's move you around the. Let's move you around these defenses and see if there's tanks. There is definitely a tank, so let's lock it down, move back, and then let's move up with the tanks. And start pecking away at these defenses. We'll, we'll, we will spot with the science vessel. Let's move it on up. Nope, not that close. Not that close. Okay, and then ground forces. Let's move you up just a little bit so you can spot. Okay, now ground forces. Go ahead and start moving in. Unseize with the tanks. Got to get rid of that tank before it's no longer locked down. Okay, this is fine. Okay, and then we're going to inch up just a little bit. Let's move up with the tanks again. I'm playing cautiously. I want to move quickly, but not so fast that I'm careless. I think this was a really good way to break into the, the first enemy base. Let's go ahead and quick save because I think we're in good shape. As the bunker goes down, we're going to auto-attack into it so that our tanks don't take too much damage from the spawning units. And we have to be on the lookout for enemy siege tanks. So here's Kerrigan taking a little bit of damage. She's doing fine, though. We do have a medic in this group, which is incredibly helpful. Do I only have one? It looks like I only have one. That should be fine. So when we destroy this command center, we're going to get some reinforcements, which is going to be incredibly, incredibly helpful. So I'm thinking, once we get our reinforcements and destroy all of the production facilities here, I am going to go ahead and... I'm going to go ahead and, and leave the way that I came. And the reason I'm going to leave the way that I came is because... What did we get down here? The reason I want to leave the way that we came is we won't, we won't have to deal with any other enemy forces. That was really cool. We just saw some Sons of Korhal units fly over us. 
All right, so let's attack. Uh, we want to grab. Did we just lose all of our rates? Uh, okay, lock this down. And we're, we're losing things very, very, very poor. All right, I'm actually going to load my quick save because I was talking about stuff and then I lost track. We had a big purple ground attack come at us. Let's not just, let's not get too hasty. Our ground forces are going to very carelessly walk into tanks a lot of the time. Okay, so here we are again. All right, let's auto attack down in this direction. Let's move up with my air units so that they all don't all die. Pretty large force over here, so let's come on over here and get rid of it. And then Sarah Kerrigan, where are you? She's in here somewhere. Hey, okay, let's just use a normal ghost, that's fine. We're gonna move up and we're going to lock down this tank. Okay, and there's our reinforcements coming in, and apparently purple is gonna come and attack us now, so we wanna be actually ready for it. So what did we get? We got another science vessel, so let's add that to our air group. Don't, just don't, th you're throwing your lives away. Move on in, let's uh, unsiege and move on up. And of course purple attacks me as I was getting prepared for that. Okay, no problem, let's go ahead and add my other tank to this group and then add my the other ground units to this group. And we don't have to destroy everything, just the production facilities. I don't care about the other units. So what I plan on doing is, again, I'm gonna just move over here. I think this is where the factories are. I wanna get rid of this stuff. You have to just attack right into this, unfortunately. Um, I wanna attack into this stuff, get rid of the factories, and then I'm gonna walk out this way. Because if I walk out any other direction, we're gonna have problems. I just carelessly walked into this tank too. I am not playing very well. <laughs> I keep clumping up with F2. I really shouldn't do that, I should just be very focused on what I'm trying to do because we've lost, well, our medic is still alive. That's pretty important. And as we get rid of this stuff, we'll be we'll be just fine. Confederate garrison, very random here. I think my next target is going to be the upper right because I think that's the starport focused area. Okay, tanks again, super important. Last factory, going to go down. Hopefully before it spawns any other units, perfect. So, let's check up in this direction. No, let's not bother. Let's just go out exactly the way we came, like I was saying. So we're gonna come up and through the middle. Actually, here comes a pretty large uh, orange attack. One Goliath gonna go down. Really nothing I could do about that. I could have tried to lock down a little faster, I suppose. Okay, so we're gonna move over in this direction. Our tanks, our slow, slow tanks are on their way. So next is going to be purple, which is going to require me to go kind of down and around. And there's also some random turrets up here that I would like to destroy. I think. I thought there were, yeah, there are turrets up here. We want to get rid of these before we try to make any major push against the enemy. So as you can see, Orange just sent a an attack wave at me, which was a big pain in the butt. Okay, we can also siege our tanks up, up here and start getting rid of some units down here. And I want to just get rid of all these turrets so that they don't interfere with me later. Especially if I'm trying to cloak or do something. Anything, I don't even know what. Okay, decent amount of Goliaths, so this is good. We can get, I mean, I don't see a reason to not get rid of some of this stuff because it's gonna allow me to get rid of, it's gonna allow me to get rid of um, some of the SCVs that come over to try to attack me. So let's move in with our wraiths. This is a pretty large wraith force that they had here. It's possible they were going to come and try to attack me with those. We got rid of their academy. I don't really see what that's going to do except stop them from making fire bats. Okay, so we're going to come down and around. Kerrigan, where are you? I forget how, what did I hotkey Kerrigan with? So let's, I'm going to move up with her first, followed up by the tanks. Oh, I, like I did with the brown base, I'm going to try to make a semi beeline for the factories. And I don't know where those factories are, but I'm going to try for them. Okay, let's just, we can F2 everybody up to this area. All right, let's cloak and look for tanks. There is one back there. Quickly, quickly, Kerrigan. All right, get out of there. Get out of there. And then let's move up with our tanks. And then ground units move on in and, and defend, defend the tanks. We should have our medic in there that's gonna heal up Kerrigan. The tank is still disabled, very important. Okay, so let's get in there. Now, like I was saying, um, there's two entrances to most of these bases, and the other one is, like, way up here, and we want to make sure that we just avoid that because we'd, I don't want to have to push through another set of enemy defenses. That would be a big waste. Big, big, big waste. 
Okay, so we found the starports, and they don't actually seem to be building anything out of them. I'm very grateful for that. And where's the command center? Because I want to try to allow myself... I really want to try to allow myself to uh, get some reinforcements here. Medic, please just be so careful. I need you to survive. Okay, let's move on up. I don't see any other tanks. I really wouldn't know, though, unless I moved up even further. Did I lose? Oh, no. Oh, God, I thought I lost the tank. That would have been not good. All right, there is the command center. So we're going to get rid of all these production facilities here, these three. And then I'm going to focus down the command center and get reinforcements. But I don't know where those reinforcements land for this particular base. I honestly have no clue. And I don't know if there's other factories or starports that we have to destroy in this area, actually. Okay, I like this music, too. It's a remix. I used it on my channel trailer, actually. It's really, really neat. I like it. Okay, so let's inch up and uh, see Jean up here. I'm going to take a science vessel. I'm going to defense matrix it, and I'm going to look and see what's here. Uh, a large orange attack is the answer. Crap, lost one tank. Uh, I defense matrix the wrong one, unfortunately. Well, you're still defense matrix. We might as well use you to look to see if there's any other production up here. There's lots of tanks up here, but I think that's just the defense to the entrance of the base. So I'm going to ignore that. I saw bunkers up there, too. So I think that's purple. Purple is gone. They have no other... They have nothing else. we got two tanks here. That's really helpful. And we have another medic and marine, so let's add them to my ground force. And next, we're going to be going for orange. So I'm going to follow my advice here and not attack into that. I'm just going to go out and around back this direction. So let's move everybody. This is a strange landing area. Uh, yeah, so I'm gonna do everything in my power to just avoid that area, and I'm pretty sure we got everything unless there's a, a starport that's hidden over there. So now we're just dealing with Orange, which means we're kind of on the upswing. And Orange came at us with a decent-sized Marine Goliath force, so this is not easy. It certainly can still be a challenge. Uh, I probably want to be EMPing cloaked rates if I absolutely have to. I I probably don't have to. Why would I do that? If I have a science vessel, there's no reason I would need to do that. So let's come down here, and we're going to start pushing into orange. Now, I'm going to quick save. I understand. I sound like I'm in a big rush. <laughs> Tripping over my words a little bit here, because I'm really focused on doing this. Because like I said, this map is not easy, and if you make a mistake, it 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 can be tough. Okay, let those Goliaths... I think that, that might have been Orange's attack that was going to be coming at us. Let's use Kerrigan again to scout out. She's been pretty invaluable. Got some bunkers here, so let's move up with the tanks and uh, start pecking away at them. Let's do this. And move up again with my normal ground units to help defend the tanks immediately upon the bunkers going down. To inter basically intercept the units as they're coming in. They have a tank back there, but we should be able to get rid of some of the turrets to at least move in with Kerrigan. Where is Kerrigan? Let's move her up. Let's defense matrix her. Let's move in and lock down the tank. Move up with everybody. My tanks are not in range to be covering me right now. That's not good. Okay, as long as my heroes are fine, and they are. Kerrigan's still defense matrix. I am being an idiot because there was a missile turret right there. I'm going to quick save because I think we're in okay shape. Anti-ground might be, begin to be a bit of an issue. Okay, there's a tank up there. Kerrigan, you're up again. Just let it hit you. There we go. It's locked down. Everybody move in. Let's keep an eye out for turrets. I like how our, our units target the... Of course. Okay, so that's bad. I like how... But like I was saying, I like how our units target the Confederate flag. Okay, we're going to siege up... We're going to hold position right here. We're going to defense matrix our tanks. There's another tank up there. Is there one back there, too? I'm running out of uh, out of energy. I think this was probably not the way that we wanted to be attacking into this base. Yeah, this went terribly. So I'm going to reload my save. And I'm going to go around because I don't want to have to go up that ramp because that ramp was a pain to get up. Actually, it wouldn't be that bad as long as I'm prepared for it. So we want to make sure we're leading with our science vessels so that we can see and that we're defense matricing our tanks in the front. So sorry for the save loads. It is nice to do these types of missions in one go, but micro missions in StarCraft 1 are very much gotcha. And I think there's also a reason that this mission was scrapped from the game because it's not particularly great. 
in my opinion. I don't think it's I don't think that's it's that great of a mission. Okay, so we have to go up and we have to lock down that first tank. So let's do this. Move on up and lock it down. Don't run in. Don't run in. Our tanks need to move up to Yeah, about there is fine. And then science vessels. Let's go ahead and hold position right here and not enough energy. It's defense matrix and defense matrix again. Okay, let's move on in. Honestly, this that these defense matrixes, these defense matrixes have been very, very invaluable. Okay, move up, and there we go. Now we've pushed through. Very good. Let's move up with the tanks. I'm gonna quick save now because we've made it through, and we can start sieging down their production from all the way back here. So let's do that. Okay, my heroes would look to be in good shape. I have two medics so that my heroes can be repaired. Doing this without medics, I think, would be very challenging because uh, I've been using defense matrix pretty uh, pretty liberally. So I think if, if I didn't have medics, I mean, I would be using all my defense matrixes and we'd be running into problems because I couldn't, uh, I couldn't keep my heroes perpetually defense matrix. Okay, get rid of that. Good, good, good. Next is going to be... Okay, we're actually destroying their tanks before they get close to us. We want to move up with the science vessel so that we can give our, our tanks a little bit better sight. I don't know where the command center is, but it really wouldn't matter because I think we're on a roll here. We still want to go for the command center so that we can get some reinforcements, but we shouldn't need them if we're already looking like we're in good shape here. They have a battle cruiser. That's cool. So uh, lock it down. Okay, let's move on in. Our tanks are still alive. I honestly can't really tell what's going on here, but we've pushed to the back of their base, which is where their production is coming from. The fact that this base even makes battle cruisers sucks. <laughs> it really sucks. Okay, and it might come down to me having missed a building. Uh, so we've gotten all the starports. There's a factory somewhere. It's almost definitely down here. Or maybe further up in this area, in retrospect. My heroes are actually going to be doing a lot of work here, so I'm I'm going to hold out and defer to them to protect my tanks. Unseized tanks are not nearly as effective as unseized tanks in, in StarCraft 1, I should say, are not nearly as effective as unseized tanks in StarCraft 2. Unseized tanks in StarCraft 2 can really make it happen. They really, really can. Okay, hit the, uh, hit the command center now. And we have to find... There's a factory somewhere, probably down here. We gotta get rid of it. So this command center is gonna go down. We're gonna get reinforcements somewhere. I don't know where they're gonna land. I never do. Oh, my battle cruiser got left behind. My other forces ended up getting dropped all the way over here. So let's uh, let's shift click them up to where they need to be. I might just want to wait for them to get up here. Interestingly enough, I only got one tank with my destruction of the brown base. So in the future, if I ever plan on playing this mission again, I don't know why I would. Unle you know, unless there's version 7.0 coming out for Mass Recall, so we're going to showcase it because it's awesome. Um, I I would want to remember that maybe I should go for orange first because orange and purple... Well, I didn't see what purple attacked me with. They came with a mild bio force and it looked like a force of wraiths. But we, uh, we want to keep an eye out for what they're... Uh, what they're packing. All right, there's actually two factories down here, and they've stopped building. Maybe once you destroy the command centers, that a the AI just shuts down. That would be kind of neat. But yeah, I might want to go for orange or, or purple first. Probably orange, because they have the worst attack waves. They have three factories and two starports, and then we can nullify those attack waves and get two tanks. As opposed to brown, though brown has factories and builds siege tanks as well, looking in, in a fashion that it looked like they were going to come and attack us with vultures and tanks. I don't know. All right, we did it. It's actually, it's a tricky mission. I, I did struggle. I had to reload twice. That was some teamwork.
This is Duke. The emitters are secured and online. Who authorized the use of psi emitters? I did, Lieutenant. What? The Confederates on Antigua were bad enough, but now you're going to use the Zerg against an entire planet? This is insane. She's right, man. Think this through. I have thought it through. Believe me. You all have your orders. Carry them out. All right, Arctura shows his true colors. He and Duke have been conspiring. Persona City three days later. Like a beacon, the combined power of the Psy emitters reached out to the far corners of the Terran sector, luring billions of Zerg to the capital world of Tarsonis. The Zerg, overrunning the Confederacy's best defenses, proceeded to lay waste to Tarsonis' major cities and industrial centers. And, I assume, billions of people. Civilians. So that is how the Dominion rose to power. It's actually a big point of contention all the way into StarCraft II when we reveal that he used the Psy emitters against the Confederacy. I'm waiting for a score screen, but I have a black screen. All right, so sometimes this just happens on some missions. So we have a black screen, not a big deal. All right, this has been Jay Bruno. Thanks so much for watching. Tricky mission, we're gonna be heading into New Gettysburg next time. Very infamous mission. See you then, bye now.